Bienvenidos a Zin Katan. Zina Katan. I hope I'm saying that right. And this is uh, another city, like literally in the mountains, with so much deep tradition. Even as I say that, as you guys look over there, right over there, you can see some of the the attire that people wear here. And we're really close to so many other places. And my mind is blown at how close we are to other places and yet how different that it is. Uh, one of the things that I've noticed here is that the attire that people wear is very colorful. Whereas in some of the other places that I've been to, I don't want to mispronounce their names, but they were very, very one or two colors. Here, there just seems to be colors. That's the thing that comes to my mind. Even as you can see the sign right here. And one thing that we did is we went into a pueblo, we went into a home, and this home was one of the, showed us how the local people lived and how they stitched together, or I don't know what they call it, weaving it, they put together all these outfits and, and uniforms and how much time, <laughs> and the time that it takes for them to do it. And you realize that the tradition is way deeper than anything that I've ever seen in Western society, which is why I think that when you go to other places, it just gives you a whole nother view. I mean. I'll show you a little bit on the street you'll be able to see. I'm right in front of the, the church right now. But you can see the attire that the people wear around here. And like I say, it's very weaved into their tradition. And a lot of times they spend so much time to make these outfits. They're not something they go to the store and they necessarily can just buy. So many of this stuff, they've, they have... The, the lady we met, for example, one of the shirts that she made, I don't know the exact name of it, the, the right way to say it, but one of the shirts that took her four months to make, five, six hours a day. And I think this lady must have been about 38, 40-ish, and she'd been doing it since she was nine years old. So it's almost like you come here and it really puts into perspective the two words that come to my mind, or the one word that really comes to mind is tradition. So much deep tradition. Even in a place like this, we're gonna walk back to the bus because actually I'm here on a tour and we're about to go. But so much deep tradition in places like this. And it seems, of course, in small cities like this, everybody knows everyone. But even more so than that, the tradition here, the tradition. Like wearing a shirt, you know, I'm from Western society where we just buy a shirt to the store. I bought a shirt the other day, go to the store, buy it, that's it. Here it's way so much deeper. Of course, can't escape the street dogs. This is kind of in the square. And even the language that they speak is not the same here. So there's no one, I haven't heard, overheard any Spanish. Everyone is speaking in the language that they have here. Even though we're here in the south of Mexico, it's his own language. And yeah, even that, I mean, look at the view of all this. I promise you, some of the, it's the beauties of traveling, it's the little simple things like this for me that, I mean, the backdrop doesn't even look real. Does it look real to you all? And once again here, the one thing that is the same is a lot of the kids seem to be doing the adult jobs. Hola. <laughs> Some people in my group. But you can see the people, their traditional outfits and clothes. It's how I pictured Mexico, to be honest. And coming into places like this, it really, it like once again, I say it a lot, I know, it really puts things into so much perspective. The way I look at everything has just changed completely once again. And the, play, the Pueblo that we went into was just right down there. And this is, is it the life in the small city, in small town, I guess you could say almost village. Everyone has their own thing, their own, it seems like they all got their own little, they're all in their own little rhythm here. It seems much more quiet though, wider streets than some of the smaller places that I've been. And the people do seem friendly here. One thing I've learned, I've said this a few times, 
they're not used to people necessarily coming in here and just taking their pictures so pictures isn't really welcomed here either but I hope you're able to see at least what it's like if you were to walk around and I know it's like yeah there's a lot of kids just out in the open walking around seems like the, all the adults do the same thing as the kids and the kids do what the adults do so I'll walk through here People just kind of chill around. The one thing I did notice here is that they did have like normal police here. In some of the other places, they had their own form of police with the batons and everything. And you can see people kind of just chill, standing around here. <laughs> just find it really interesting. Hola. Sí, sí, grande. <laughs> Porque yo comer mucho. Mucho de tacos aquí. Y tequila. <laughs> y posh. Posh, sí. Es muy bueno. <laughs> and the people seem really curious. That's the one thought that I could give you all. If you come to small places like this, it can be very intimidating, I'll be honest. I've actually felt like really nervous walking around because number one, I don't see any tourists really walking around with cameras. And the second thing is when I'm walking around, everyone's kind of staring. And I just have this belief, and I, I <laughs> this is like the belief that gets me through so much. I believe that everyone is just waiting for someone to say hello to them. You know, you can come here and feel nervous, but then you, when you're nervous, you start to walk around feeling nervous. And when you walk around feeling nervous, that brings off a certain energy. But if you walk around with a mindset of like, people are waiting to say hello to me. Like literally that's what I believe. Then when I see people, I say hello. And then they smile back and they can feel that energy. So that's one of the, one of the, the big things that have gotten me through, especially here, because this, this has really pushed my, my, my filming to a whole nother level because of the fact that you're not allowed to really film here. No one's really walking around with a camera. No, no one here, I hadn't even seen a camera. I don't even know if they, even, if they would even have a camera. But here, Show you guys a little bit as I walk through here. Another life. Wow. After you've been in here a while, you realize that that's just normal. Very normal for people. Hola. It's very, 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 very normal to hear people riding around in their cars with things blasting. I don't understand what they're saying, but it's very normal. And these are little shops. <laughs> and it just, it seems honestly, it just seems so peaceful. That's the thought that comes to my mind. It's just peaceful. And the places here, the restaurants, the cafes, it takes hole in the wall places to another level. And by the way, there's like a festival going on here. So that's all the fireworks sounds you hear. These are the spots. A chill little small village in the middle of, it seems like the mountains of here in Mexico. I must say Mexico has a special place in my heart. And what do you all think of this? And you guys probably know more than I do. Even there, I got their own little small pharmacies. Lots of tortillas, hola. Como estas? <laughs> and once again, you see the kids are working. That's the one thing that's probably fascinated me the most. Is it seems like all the children, they're all working at places. They're working or they're walking around talking to people. 
They seem to be doing everything that you think that or what you normally see adults doing. But that's kind of why it's always like going to a place with open mind. Hola. <laughs> and they're so friendly, honestly. The second they break a smile, you realize that they just haven't probably seen someone that looks like you. Maybe in their life for some of these people. Because as I said in other videos, everything they need is here. There's no need for them to even really leave here. Wow. So that's just a, that's just a little bit of a taste of what it's like here. Even corn here. Very, 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 very popular. But on that note, we're back in the tour. Just want to drop you in for 10 minutes of my day. Hey, doggy. <laughs> But I'll speak to you all later. Thank you for being here, joining me in the day. And in the meantime, everyone always remember, definitely come check out the small places in Mexico. Like a lot of places I say, the small places, that's where the magic happens. So until then, I'll speak to you all later. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I'll speak to you later. In the meantime, everyone always remember to work hard, be brave, and don't forget to smile. Ciao.